Allison Till, and I am an investigator with the National Transportation Safety Board. Many factors contribute to the efficient and safe operation of aircraft, and one of these important factors is ensuring that you are operating within the aircraft's weight and balance and center of gravity, or CG limits, because attempting to push an aircraft's performance characteristics can be fatal. The maximum gross weight and CG envelope is determined by the manufacturer, and these limits are based on the capability of the aircraft. Pilots conducting weight and balance and CG calculations to determine whether their aircraft are within limits before takeoff in order to know how their aircraft will perform during takeoff, while en route, and during landing. However, accident data shows that often this does not happen. In fact, between 2008 and 2016, almost 140 accidents resulted from pilots improperly conducting pre-flight performance calculations or not conducting them at all. Tragically, one-third of these accidents, 66% of which had passengers on board, resulted in fatalities. Overloading aircraft or operating them outside of the CG limits can severely degrade their performance characteristics and can result in a longer takeoff run, higher takeoff speed, reduced angle and climb rate, shorter range, and higher stall speed, all of which can ultimately lead to an aerodynamic stall and or loss of aircraft control, typically during takeoff or landing. Other factors, such as wind, high temperature, high density altitude conditions, runway slope, and runway conditions can also degrade to an airplane's climb performance and should be factored into pre-flight takeoff calculations. Combining these factors with an overgross or out-of-CG airplane can create an unrecoverable condition. In September 2015, I investigated an accident in Iliamna, Alaska involving a pilot who was transporting nine passengers from a fishing lodge to a remote fishing location in a float-equipped de Havilland Otter airplane. The airplane impacted tundra-covered terrain just after takeoff from a lake and three passengers were fatally injured. The airline transport pilot and four other passengers sustained serious injuries and two passengers sustained minor injuries. During the investigation, we determined that the pilot had not used actual weights for the passengers and their gear and that this had resulted in the airplane being overweight and loaded with an FCG. The weight and balance problem in combination with the departure during dark night conditions led to a loss of airplane control and subsequent aerodynamic stall. The NTSB has investigated many other accidents where the pilots have not conducted pre-flight weight and balance and CG limit calculations before takeoff. How can pilots prevent weight and balance accidents? Know your aircraft's limitations and what factors can affect its performance. As the pilot in command, it's your responsibility on every flight to know the maximum allowable weight of the aircraft and its CG limits. Be prepared to conduct takeoff and landing calculations on the ground before departure. Remember factors such as fuel burn during flight will result in a CG shift and weight change. Do not become complacent about your aircraft's weight and balance over time. Use your aircraft's approved airplane flight manual to calculate its pre-flight weight and balance. Use accurate passenger and cargo weights for your calculations. If you're wrong about the numbers, a serious accident can result. Talk with your mechanic to be sure the aircraft weight and balance paperwork is current and includes installation of any new onboard equipment. Remember, you are responsible for ensuring that your airplane can operate safely before every flight.